If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. July is coming to an end. We have the 31st today. And so in this video, I wanted to go over all the albums that are dropping next month in August of 2022. As always, the disclaimer, these are of course not all the albums in hip hop dropping in August. These are just the select few that are likely going to be the biggest in hip hop. That's why I included them in this video. If you have any other ones, you know, maybe more niche ones, then be sure to drop them in the comments down below to get all the fans up to date. But let's start with this. So this upcoming Friday, August 5th, is the most packed day of August, actually. We have three really big releases that are dropping that day. The first one is NBA Youngboy, The Last Slimeedo. And this was, you know, this has been announced for quite some time. It's gone through a lot of stages of being teased and being announced. But we got the actual announcement in at the beginning of this month, July 5th, when the album cover was revealed. Also, the track list got half revealed. We, you know, know that this is going to be 30 tracks in total. Um, so it, quite a lot. We don't actually know the names of all of them yet. And also, the interesting part about this is that this was all recorded while NBA Youngboy was on house arrest so that's kind of a funny just a funny side note and a funny you know just just anecdote while listening to this album the next album dropping this upcoming Friday August 5th is the you know collection greatest hits collection curtain call 2 by Eminem quite uh, album that I went quite in depth on already talking about the single you know the from the D to the LBC and how there's not going to be a whole lot more singles on there that we haven't heard before I even dedicated a whole episode of my podcast to this so we've covered this in detail already so I'm not going to go into much here but it's just you know curtain call 2 I don't know how necessary that the record really is but it's dropping it's dropping this Friday. And the last of the big three, you know, releases dropping this Friday is Kelvin Harris, Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2, um, which I've also recently made a video on. We just got a new single two days ago with Offset, uh, so the, you could tell that this album is very much... Yeah, like, like popular hip hop, like that hip hop lane that some of y'all might like more like classic, just straight up rap fans probably won't like that record as much, but it's dropping. It's a pretty big record as well. Then the Friday after that, and this is kind of like now getting into some speculations because from this from this day on, we don't actually have any solid confirmation. But of course, we're going to go through them because these albums are very likely or confirmed to be dropping in August. For example, we'll start off with the game Drillmatic. Now, this is an album that you've probably seen thrown around quite a lot over the past couple of, of months or weeks even, because this album was delayed like so many times. It was, I think, originally supposed to drop on June 17th, um, and then Drake dropped, and Joey also then didn't drop, so we could tell that Drake kind of like scared them, but then it got delayed to, I think it was July 1st, after that to July 8th, and now we still don't have it at the end of July, so this album really needs to come out. We've gotten some info on this, for example, we've gotten the the, the two singles so far, Easy with Kanye, and then also, um, I think it was called Violence, the one that Hitboy was producing, well Hitboy is producing the entire record, but that's kind of like the unique selling point of this. We've got the cover art in the meantime as well ever since then he's also deleted his Instagram so we really don't know what's going on with the game and dramatic right now he needs to give us another you know another solid release date because right now we only know that it's likely dropping in August uh, because at some point he got to drop it so that's kind of like it is rumored to be August 12th but it's, it's really not confirmed I think at some point he he said August 12th in a tweet but I couldn't go back to it because also his Twitter is now deleted his Instagram is also cleared so don't know what's up with the man, but Drillmatic is coming at some point. The, you know, pro hit produced by Hit Boy, the game album, which is a dope combination. Next up, an album that I'm very excited about personally is Lil Baby. Lil Baby actually once confirmed that he was going to drop his new album in July. He specifically, you know, set that in a tweet, said that it was going to be the seventh month, so July. We still didn't get it. He recently made a post also talking about a documentary that he got coming out um, with Amazon, you know, Amazon on Prime Music, what they got going on there. That is dropping on August 26th. And the kind of like the theory is that the album will also drop with the documentary because he said that he delayed the album to have it all perfect, you know, come together together with this documentary. So very likely the album is also dropping on the 26th. 
because that would also be a Friday, of course. So that's likely the release date for this new little baby album, rumored to be called Wham, but we also don't know, you know, qu that quite yet. Uh, the next two releases, the last two, are interesting because they're both people that I've kind of like written off and didn't really consider like that relevant anymore, even though for one of them more than the other. The first one, the less relevant one, is, is Nav. Nav is actually dropping an album. Uh, it's called Demons Protected by Angels. He recently announced that to us. He dropped the single, you know, two days ago, you know, Don't Sleep or Never Sleep with uh, Travis Scott and uh, Lil Baby. Wasn't too bad, but I just don't see Nav in those leagues of hip hop anymore where a release from him is really that relevant. But you know, people are still listening to his music and liking this new release that it was announced. So I had to put it in here, but personally, I'm really not that much into it. I, I still cared about him in 2020 when he, you know, dropped good intentions, but that just proved to be bad. And so after, ever since then, it just wasn't anything. Also, we got um, the emergency tsunami thing that he had, but none of that was really good. And then also, the last one that I want to touch on is Trippy Red, because he is supposed to release Love Letter to You 5. We don't have any actual evidence for this there's no like announcement from him or anything but there's just so much rumors and so many leaks going around and i even saw some of you i mean devin first and foremost he was always posting like in the comments oh trippy red is about to release uh, love letter to you five singles so there's these rumors going around that singles are releasing and that you know he will kind of come through with a new album very soon so that it's still not confirmed when exactly that is going to drop as i said for nav as well but that's that so far. So these are the albums in hip hop that are the big ones that are confirmed so far. Of course, a couple of niche ones are always there. For example, Lucky is is releasing his new album this upcoming Friday on August 5th as well. I didn't put him in the main category because I just wanted to cover the broad ones, the big ones. Uh, but stuff like that is obviously also releasing. And again, my my you know call to you: if you have any of those albums, make sure to post them in the comments. The the fans will thank you, you know, because me must I will also thank you for putting me on to new music. So that's it. August is looking it's looking pretty okay uh, July wasn't that big either I, I thought June was pretty packed June was a dope month for hip-hop July was eh. you know we've gotten Beyonce dropped at least you know we've gotten stuff like that so big ones but I'm hoping that August can really come through especially I mean I'm, I'm just a little baby fan so I'm hoping for that one so yeah let me know what you think about this what album are you looking forward to the most what albums did I miss what albums are you the least excited for do you think Nav is still relevant when do you think the album that don't have a specific date yet are going to release over the course of this month so all of your thoughts and theories and any you know news you got on any of these albums please let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one 11 incredible day and y'all take care